How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. My apologies for my absence. We've been super busy lately. I've been busy with work and we just moved into a new house. Finally settled in and finally got some time to uh, work on another video. So basically today we are going to take apart my old KA and uh, we are going to rebuild it for turbo. The original plan was to throw a, um, a turbo kit onto the 240 as is but I thought about it and um, you know if something goes wrong something blows up all that time and money spent will be wasted so i kind of don't want to go that route let's do everything right the first time so we are going to rebuild the whole ka make it brand new i've been looking online for an engine rebuild kit and the one that's caught my attention is called uh b and j master rebuild kit and it comes with a lot of cool stuff and it gives you the option to have oversized pistons or something i guess that's a good turbo setup because you're gonna want like low compression or something like that so that's pretty cool and it's like decent it's a decent price. If you guys look online for a rebuild kit, you're gonna see a lot of cheap rebuild kits, and uh, you kind you kind of don't want to go that route because you know you're, these are really important components in your car, and you, you kind of don't want to cheap out. So this one was a little bit up there, like around 500 compared to all the cheap ones, which is like 250 to 350. If I find some something up in the 700s, I mean I'm willing to spend like up to a thousand because again these are really you know important parts you know for your car so this thing's been sitting in my mom's house for a really long time i'm pretty excited to kind of take it apart never really done anything like this before so it's gonna be uh it's, it's gonna be fun no you guys haven't seen the 240 in a while i have a really special parking spot for it I'll show you guys real quick hey good thing it rained I, oh fuck i left my window open no Everything's wet. No, my seats are wet. Let me bring the engine inside real quick before it starts raining some more. And let's get today's video started. First thing we're gonna do is get this clusterfuck of a bunch of vacuum lines that we don't need. Can't wait to get this thing all cleaned up. Have it all painted. It's gonna look so nice. All right, we finally got the engine mounted. Uh, whew, sorry guys, I'm out of breath. So I guess we can start off by taking off the alternator something I'm familiar with and then after that we can work our way over to the power steering and slowly just take apart everything that's nasty these belts are no good Okay, so right here is the AC bracket, I believe. We are just gonna take it out so I can clean it. If I find out that we don't need it, we'll throw it away. If I need it, then I'll just put it back. Ow. Ooh. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna take off is the oil pan. Because when we run a turbo, we're gonna have to drill a hole right here and run an oil line to the turbo. So, might as well knock that out real quick. Damn, it's in there tight. It's a... Uh, it's coming off the well it looks like we are getting somewhere let's recap on what we did so far we got the alternator off took out some brackets got the power steering off took off some brackets i'm just gonna save it aside and uh, if i find out that i need it we can throw it back on let's go ahead and take off the valve cover and somehow take the the top piece which is i believe is called a head we're gonna try to detach this from here and uh, let's do that for now. Whoa. so this is the farthest I've ever gone I've taken the valve cover many times but I have never messed with the uh, camshafts but it looks like we just take these out these uh, 10 mil bolts right here so I'm just gonna go for it see what happens hopefully I can get the camshafts off
just like that. So there's some letters on it. I just noticed right now. It says like one four and E two. Just noticed that right now. I kind of think that means something. I should have taken a picture before I did this. I'm noticing there's colors on here too, so that probably means something. Orange is left. Green is right. Damn, slow down. Pretty sure you guys just heard that. Somebody tried to do a burnout in front of the house. What a savage. All right, so the camshafts are not coming out. I think it has to do something about this chain right here. So we're gonna take out this front cover and hopefully I can get a better view of what to do next. I guys, got the front cover loose. Uh, there is like this little uh, metal piece sticking out right here. And if your RTV is way too tight, you can put the wrench right here, hit it with a mallet and it pops right off. Ooh. So all the bolts that I got from taking this out, let's put it away safely so I don't get things mixed up again. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. All right, so this thing is actually probably torqued down to like a thousand foot pounds. Couldn't get it off. And every time I spun it, this whole the whole thing would spin. But after inspecting it a little bit better, I noticed that there's a side right here that I can place a wrench. So don't really have the right tools. I mean, I got, I got this monkey wrench right here, but I don't think I'll get enough leverage, but we'll see. I'll try something out. <clears throat> Holy shit. Yeah, I hope I didn't mess anything up. I'm not too sure what happened, but it just came off. I did damage something. I hope it's not bad. Like right there in the corner. Okay, well at least I got the camshaft off, but... Oh, damn it. I hope this is not like a big deal. It kind of like bent the metal a little bit. So basically I was trying to loosen it and then the camshaft kind of just rolled up. That's super weird. Well, I mean, at least I got that out. This is not like, it's not that bad, but fuck. I mean, I guess a machine shop can fix it. I'll point it out to them, but let's continue on. Okay, so I think this chain right here is gonna come off if I want to take this. So I think this whole front cover has to come off. So I just busted a mission right now to the warehouse, picked up the right tools. Let's see if we can get this out. But I got the wrong socket. This is not an impact socket, but. All right, actually this is not even the right size. You know what? I didn't even get the socket. Fuck. Okay, actually I found a socket, but it's not really the right size. kind of stuck whoa oh shit look at that fuck yeah okay I hit this a little bit with a uh, mallet it's coming off is it oh shit there you go okay and then you gotta wake up oh Yes. Whoa. Sick. Okay. I'm gonna set that here for now. Okay. Back to where we left off. So, tensioner. I guess this needs to come off. And then the whole chain can come off. So what, what is this? Allen key? Oh. Oh my god. All right, check this out. This piece right here just comes right off. This should just come right off. Okay, I'm gonna have to release tension right here and work down here. Almost there. Yes. Okay, so there is two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten of these Allen keys, Allen key nuts or whatever you guys wanna call them. I think we gotta take those out. Not too sure what this is, but I'm gonna take that out as well. 
and hopefully this whole piece will come off. Whoa. I think these are coming out as well. Oh, dude, they're tight. Oh. Holy crap, dude. Whoa, that wasn't supposed to happen. All right, so, I guess you were supposed to leave that alone. That's so funny. I just twisted it off. What the fuck? <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, let me go put this down somewhere. All right, guys. If you if you guys are taking off the head, then it's only uh two, four, six, eight ten bolts. Don't worry about this. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't think that does anything. Okay, I managed to get this off. So I think now this whole gear looking thing can, I think it'll just come right off. Ah, there you go. Get this chain off. I'm gonna put this back for now. So I don't lose anything. Today's video was a success. We managed to get what we wanted out today. I kinda wanna keep on going and disassemble more, but how does this come out? I think you just twist it and it comes out. I see oil coming out of it, or maybe not. Uh, yeah, I don't know how this works. I think at this point there's nothing left for me to do I just got to bring it into a mach machine shop and ask them if this is If this thing still needs work but I definitely want to um, Rework it because Something Something just fell out. Did you guys hear that? What the hell? All right, well, that was pretty weird. As soon as I flipped the head over, all these caps came off. I don't really know what it is, but I guess it just covers your valve springs. Something like that. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying, there's really nothing left we can do here. All we got to do is take it to the machine shop and just have them uh, clean it up, fix any damages. Hopefully there's no cracks. So, let's set this aside and take a look at this. I guess I'm having these reboard. Have them just a little bit bigger so uh, we can do that low compression, something like that. That's what uh, Christian told me. Having low compression is boost friendly, so I'm gonna go that route. I guess we need, I think we need a new gasket too. I think this is a head gasket. Yeah, I think if you have a problem with your head gasket, then um, you're gonna have to go through all this shit just to replace this. That would suck. What is this? Why is there oil in here? Ooh! Alright, well, it's still early. It's like 10 o'clock. I got a lot of time. I guess what we could do now is flip this over, try to take the pistons out, and examine those. Alright, I saw Luke do this one time. Seems pretty easy. Loosen these two bolts right here, and your piston should fall right through. Don't drop them. Try to catch them. So, let's try it out. We're gonna rotate this. Take out this piece right here. Yeah, this one looks this one looks really damaged. There's a big scratch right there, right right down the middle. I don't think these are any good. Now that you got the top off, push it down, and then the pistons should go through. Make sure it doesn't fall on the ground. Those scratches were from me, so disregard that. This actually gets damaged really easy. Yeah, even look, even my nails can scratch it. What the heck? That's crazy. But regardless, we're gonna replace them with new ones. These are old anyways. I think they got like 200,000 miles on them, so might as well. Fuck it. All four pistons are out. I'm gonna do one more thing only, and then I'm gonna call it a night. 
Uh, let's try to take out this, um, I think it's called a crankshaft. And it looks like there's only two, four, six, eight, ten bolts holding it. I'm not too sure, but we're just going to send it and hopefully it comes off. Alright guys, so I was having issues taking this crankshaft off. I think the last thing that's holding it back is this area right here where your pilot bearing is. So basically there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, ten mil bolts. I believe once you take that out, this whole thing should come off as one piece. So let's test it out. Alright, all the bolts are out. There you go. I wonder how heavy this is. Oh, slippery. Okay, I'm, I need, I'm gonna need a two hand this, guys. Yes. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Crankshaft is out. Uh, I guess the only thing we gotta do now is take this to the machine shop and have them clean it, resurface, rebore whatever make this thing look good again uh i don't know about you guys but the camshaft so this thing looks fucking crazy i'm not too sure if i need new ones but i'll ask luke or whoever is around so the b and j master rebuild kit that i'm getting is going to come with new gaskets uh sp springs valves uh new pistons pistons i'm getting are going to be a little bit bigger hopefully they come with new camshafts and uh, i believe it comes with a new timing chain New everything guys, so this K8 is going to be brand new again. Hopefully I can put everything back together properly. I Hopefully I can get it running because if I put everything back and it doesn't start, I'll be so bummed out. I guess that's it for today. We'll continue this video tomorrow. I don't know what else we can do, but uh, we'll just continue tomorrow. I need a shower. Look at this. My new pants are all dirty. My shirt's dirty. Hands dirty. Everything's dirty. Got a shower. I need to invest in one of those mechanic suits so I can stop ruining my clothes. These are brand new too. I'm so bummed out. Whatever. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, it's the next day or the next night. Or technically it's two two days later. Uh, anyways, I don't know why it was such a good idea to leave my motor on that. Uh, I came to check on it earlier and it was on the ground. My dipstick is kind of bent and broken. That was really, really dumb of me. But it doesn't look like anything is broken, so we're still good. So yeah, nothing left for us to do here. We are going to end the video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and hope you guys learned something out of this video. I learned a lot. So next video, we are going to stop by Grom, place where Randy dropped off his S13 motor. And we are going to talk to the owner of the shop. I believe his name was Samir. I'm just going to ask him to resurface reboard you guys know all of that i keep on repeating myself but i was talking to john earlier the one with the purple s14 and i was telling him about the rebuild kit i was gonna buy and he said it was a bad idea he told me to go with brian brian crow something like that i know i said my budget was like around a thousand dollars but i think everything's gonna run me about 25 to three thousand dollars just for pistons cranks for everything so you know what let's rebuild it right so i'm kind of down to spend that money but it's gonna hurt my wallet a lot but yeah hope you guys liked the video and i'll see you guys next time when we go to ground <laughs>